Hi, hello. This is Karthik Srinivas working in IG Networking Technology. Uh, this is my first video in YouTube. I hope you guys like this. Um, feel free to subscribe this channel as well. So in this video series, I'm going to talk about Azure Bash and Service. Um, we'll start with overview, uh, followed by key features, architecture, demo, and uh, how do you troubleshoot few common scenarios. Without any further ado, we'll get started. What is Azure Bash? Azure Bash is an Azure managed Bash service to securely RDP or SSH to a VM from portal via SSL. So you can deploy an Azure Bash to a virtual network. So you need to define a subnet called Azure Bash subnet on which you can uh, deploy this Bash service and you will be able to RDP or SSH to all the VMs in the VNet. So Azure Bash is not a resource for a subscription for the whole subscription or it's not a resource for a specific VM. So it's basically a resource which can be used by all the VMs in a specific VNet. Also, there are no need for associating a public IP address to the VMs because you will be using Bash and Host not to RDP or SSH to the resources in the VNet. So using Azure Bash protects your virtual machine from exposing RDP or SSH ports to the outside world while still providing secure access using RDP or SSH. You don't need to have an additional client, agent, or any piece of software to use Azure Bash. Why Azure Bash? When you deploy a resource, let's say it's a VM in a VNet, you, you can connect to the VM using the public IP address. So in order to connect to a VM via public IP address, you need to allow or open port 3389 or port 22 in the network security group, either, either in a subnet level or in a NIC level. So if you have multiple VMs deployed, maintaining or managing the NSG part, it's cumbersome. Before Azure Bash, Customers were using Jumpbox, which is deployed in a demilitarized subnet to access the VM in the secure subnet. The way how they do it is uh, basically a Jumpbox on nothing but an IaaS virtual machine, which is deployed with public IP address. So customers can say securely RDP to the Jumpbox from where they will be able to RDP to the uh, VMs, which is part of secure subnet using their private IP address. So the limitation with this approach would be um, so maintenance of the jump box, uh, which is basically an IS component. In our next video, let's discuss about the architecture of Azure Bash. Thank you.